Hey guys, Brian here. <clears throat> Just doing a little cleaning out of this closet from hell. Oh my god. I there's just so much crap packed in here of course I dug it out I tried to dig some look for some particular something and it was just a hideous avalanche but I did find some old treasures that I haven't seen in years and years so I figured I'd pull just some of the highlights out and do a what's in the closet version of what's in the box so let's come over here and look at the treasure and this is my original Raggedy Andy Knickerbocker doll from I think 70 or 71 it's an old school of course it's seen better days but it's a old school Knickerbocker official Raggedy Andy and then this is my um, Kusan. Now these were, this is what kids, I think, I mean they still have these, but this is all basically kids wore in the early 70s. This is my original. Actually, that's not true. This is a mishmash. This is the skeleton smock that my sister wore. But the skeleton mask is long gone. And I had the Dracula smock, and that's my original Dracula mask. It is just crumbling all to hell. But yeah, the cla you know, if your kids remember, for if you were my age, around my age, those classic 70s Halloween costumes. See, there's the my Dracula one. I wish I still had that smock. Let's see. This is my original 1982 Hallmark Giant Pac-Man puzzle. Great graphics. And I forgot all about this thing. This is a 2007 never opened um, Mickey through the years. 80 years of Mickey. Um, has set in a tin has never been unsealed now this thing is incredible one of my friends in San Francisco found this at a garage sale it's a binder packed with from 1970 to 1973 San Francisco Chronicle newspaper um, peanuts clips or uh, strips and, like this is the San Francisco Chronicle TV guide. That's when Snoopy Come Home was being shown on TV for the first time. It's just, I mean, look at this thing. Just absolutely packed with early 70s San Francisco Chronicle peanut strips. And they were selling it at a garage sale and she snagged it for me. I just can't believe how well preserved the newspaper is. You, normally that kind of stuff just yellows and gets brittle as hell. So, so that's it for the handful of treasures I picked. There's just so much freaking crap in this thing. It's just a nightmare. I may just put it all back and be done with it. It sounded like a good idea at the time, but it's 100 degrees, and now I'm thinking not so much. <laughs> all right, guys, take care.